Hi, my name is Nancy Halterman and I'm a trainer here at Barry's Boot Camp in Irvine. And today I'm bringing you five different exercises that you can put together into a workout to jumpstart your 2013 fitness goals. Our first exercise is a compound movement. So we're working multiple muscle groups as a total body exercise. We're coming down into a plank position. All you'll need is a set of dumbbells. We're going to do a dumbbell plank row. So we're going to row with our right and then we're going to row with our left doing one push-up, jumping forward, shifting our weight back, and then coming into a bicep curl. So it's a lot of different things going on, but if you break it down in movements, it's just a row, so you're working your back, rowing on the other side, then a push-up where you're working your chest, hopping forward, working that lower body, and then doing a bicep curl, working those arms. So let's do that one more time. So a row, a row, pushing, coming up, and a curl. So that would be one rep. That row, row, push, coming up with a curl, that's one rep. So you're gonna complete 10 of those, and that's gonna be your first exercise. Our second exercise is gonna concentrate on your lower body, toning those legs and glutes. It's called a curtsy lunge with a deadlift. So we're gonna need those dumbbells again. We're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna take our left leg back and over, literally doing a curtsy, motion, coming back to start, keeping your legs nice and stiff, nice proud chest, and we're going to stay on that same side taking our left leg back for 10 full reps. Perfect. So going over, back and down, keeping that chest up, and then when we do, when we tip at the hip and do our deadlift, you're going to squeeze those hamstrings in the back and think about the muscle that you're working and make that mind-muscle connection. So once we complete 10 reps on this left side, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now we're going to take our right leg back and over and squat down, perfect, and then tip of the hip and complete our deadlift. So it'll be 20 reps total, 10 on each side. Okay, so our third exercise is one of my favorites. We're still working in that lower body, but we're also gonna bring the upper body back into it. I'm gonna show you two different versions for this. So the first version is for people that are just starting out, maybe beginner, intermediates, or someone that has an injury, has knee pain. Um, this is something that's gonna help protect your joints. And I'll show you the more challenging version coming up next. So this first version, you're gonna stand in front of a bench, you're gonna squat, do one step up, you're going to step back down, come into a plank, and do a tricep push-up. So when you do a tricep push-up, you want to make sure that your elbows are nice and tight, concentrating on the back of those arms. So let's do that one more time. So we're going to keep our chest up, do one squat, we're going to step up, step down, come back into a plank, elbows tight, one push-up, coming back up to the standing position. Okay, so our second version is a little more challenging. We're gonna turn into a plyometric explosive movement. So you're still starting in front of that bench. Nice proud chest, you're gonna squat down and jump up onto the bench. Squatting again at the top, coming down, going into that plank, and then that tricep push up. So one more time, we're gonna squat down, hop up, down, tricep push up. So make sure anytime you're doing a plyometric movement, which is basically jumping, you wanna make sure that your abs are engaged and you know that they're engaged, but if you land, it will be nice and soft and quiet. You won't be able to hear yourself land. So plyometrics, always seen, never heard. That's gonna help you protect your joints and get the most out of your exercise. Our fourth exercise is gonna concentrate on your back and your core. So all you're gonna need is a mat on the floor or a bench if you have it and one dumbbell. So you're gonna grab your dumbbell with your right arm. You're gonna take your left leg and extend it out straight behind you so that it's parallel with the floor. And you're gonna row up, keeping your core nice and tight. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. Keeping that leg up behind you is gonna help you activate your core while you're doing this exercise. So we're going to complete 10 reps on your right side, and then when we're ready to switch, we're going to go ahead and switch to your left arm, and your right leg will be back, and we'll complete 10 reps on that side. And that's your fourth exercise. This is your fifth and final exercise of this workout. So all you'll need here is a chair, a bench, and one dumbbell. So there's two versions for this exercise as well. We're going to show you um, the modification first, which would be a traditional squat and press. So working your lower body and your shoulders, you're squatting down and pressing up. 
So you want to think about pressing through your heels on the way up, keeping your chest nice and proud, breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. So the more challenging version of this exercise would be to complete it on one foot, which is often called a pistol or a one-legged squat. So we're gonna have one foot up, one foot down. We're gonna have a seat on that bench or a chair if you're using it. We're gonna press through your heel and stand up and press at the top. So you're just literally having a seat nice and controlled, standing up and pressing at the top. So we would complete 10 reps on each leg, and you'd be doing the traditional squat and press with two feet down. You're gonna complete 20 reps total, including the press at the top. That's your fifth and final exercise. So now you have your five exercises. You've got the whole workout. So we're just gonna run through the rep ranges one more time. Your first exercise, the burpee with the push-up and the pull and the bicep curl at the top, you're completing 10 reps of that. Your second exercise, the curtsy lunge with the stiff leg deadlift, you're gonna complete 10 on your right leg, 10 on your left leg, so 20 total. Your third exercise, your step up with your tricep push-up or your box jump with your burpee tricep push-up, you're completing 10 reps of that as well. Moving on to your fourth exercise, you're gonna be completing 10 reps on each side, and that was the one arm row on the bench with your opposite leg extended out behind you. Your last and final exercise, you're gonna be completing 20 reps total. So if you're squatting on both feet and pressing at the top, you're gonna to complete 20 reps. If you're doing the pistols or one-legged squats, you're gonna complete 10 on your right side and 10 on your left side, 20 total. So after you complete those five exercises for your first round, you're gonna grab a jump rope or complete jumping jacks for two minutes straight. Then you're gonna rest for two minutes, grab some water if you need it, and you're gonna run through that whole thing two more times for a total of three rounds. So that workout is a great workout to start off your fitness routine of 2013 on the right foot. It's a metabolic resistance training workout that's gonna get your heart rate up, your metabolism up, and your results to you as fast as possible.